Chris, you actually saw Rich's hand before the miracle. Did you see that he didn't have a knuckle, or, or is he making it up? He didn't have one. I mean, I didn't believe him at first when I first got here and everything, and I felt it, and there was nothing there. So you actually felt the knuckle, and there was not a knuckle there. So he'd actually lost the knuckle. Okay, so now I want you to touch that knuckle now. Does it feel different from the one that you first saw? Yeah, there's actually a knuckle there. I don't feel like it's a gap in there anymore. <laughs> Come on now. Come on now. God can do anything. Now, come over here, Rich. So you didn't even feel anything. You, I asked you earlier if you even felt anything while it happened. Uh, it just, like, appeared. Were you surprised? Yes, very surprised because it's been so long. It's been, like, six years. Six years without a knuckle? Yeah. How, does that, how did that affect you? Did it affect your ability to use your fingers or? No, it just felt weird, like, like it was there but it really wasn't so like your fingers are floating or something or? no like I, the, I mean i don't know how that works so when it was gone like it felt like it was still there but i just never paid attention to it because i knew it was gone so when you were cra you said you're cracking your knuckles and then you noticed it was there i mean what did that feel like that moment right then i was scared you were scared <laughs> <laughs> why were you scared tell me it was just Something different, like I didn't expect that to ever have it back because I went to the hospital and they said there's nothing they can do. The hospital told you there was nothing you could do about that knuckle? Yeah, because it went all in my hand, so they couldn't just reconstruct it. Like, they could have put metal in it, but I told them, no, nah, it's not worth it. But God, eh? The hospital can't do it, but God can do it, amen? Can we give God a big praise? That's so awesome. Oh, my gosh. Congratulations. Yeah, you guys, make sure you go look, and you look. He has scars on his knuckles, and he has witnesses. Does anybody else in here know you and know that you don't? Yes, you know him? What's your name, sir? Tim. So, Tim, did you see the knuckle or feel the knuckle before the miracle? Yes, he, showed, he told me about the knuckle a couple weeks ago, uh -huh. and I didn't, you know, I had to check it out and feel it. So you did check it out and feel it? There was no knuckle there. There was no knuckle there. Now, I want you to feel it now. Oh, I can tell you. I checked it last night, <laughs> and there was just a little nub there last night. There was just a little nub there last night. Now, that's before the meeting? Last night, after the meeting. After the meeting. Oh, there, that was a nub. And so you're saying it's grown since it came in. Last night, it was as big as this little finger knuckle. And now, it's a big knuckle now. Right. Now it's full grown. So you're saying it came in as a nub and it grew? Yes. Yeah. Are you concurring with that? Yeah. Yeah. And it came in as a little nub and it grew. Yeah. Well, that's an interesting twist. <laughs> wow. So, you're, so you are validating and witnessing that this man has had a, a real miracle. Come on, let's give God a big praise. Come on.